Psalm 84, to the choir master, according to the Gittith, a psalm of the sons of Korah. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Selah. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Selah. Behold our shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. In his book, The Saint's Knowledge of Christ's Love, the Puritan preacher John Bunyan writes, I have often seen that the afflicted are always the best sort of Christians. He goes on to explain that what we see as good providences, health, success, ease, frequently have minimal spiritual value, while what we see as bad providences, pain, trial, darkness, are often our deepest sources of spiritual nourishment and growth. Seasoned Christians know this to be true. We see it here in Psalm 84. The psalmist cries out, seeking to dwell with God, for the presence of God is our true strength. Then note what the psalmist says. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. They go from strength to strength. We do not know exactly where the valley of Baca was, but we know it was a valley. Valleys in the Bible often symbolize lowness, darkness, and adversity. Yet those whose strength is in God make it a place of springs. When God is your supreme value, your ultimate good, when you would rather have a lowly place with God than a comfortable place without Him, then no matter what pain washes into your life, your deepest joy cannot be threatened. You are safe. Nothing can touch you. Even the valleys of life become places of fruitfulness. But what if you do not sense God to be your greatest treasure? We all go through times like these, and that is why texts such as verse 11 are in the Bible, to recalibrate our hearts. The Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. God is above you, illumining, a sun. God is before you, protecting, a shield. God is for you, dignifying. He bestows favor and honor. God is with you, lavishing. No good thing does he withhold. Mm -hmm.